Hello everyone! Welcome to my Spring Essentials video. I know that I'm a bit late with the video because officially the spring has started on the 21st of March, but in my head a spring only starts in April. I don't know what it is, but in March I'm still in that winter mode. So. Um, recently I selected the items I believe to be the most versatile and um, you know the best items for the spring that I can mix and match and get the most outfits out of them. So let's start from the um, uh, jeans. Uh, I selected two pair of jeans that I know I'll be wearing a lot this spring and I selected white jeans that I believe are an absolute must-have for spring and um, classic navy jeans as well. And I know that um, at the moment there is a lot of new shapes coming in. They are wide jeans, they are cropped jeans. Um, but I just want to recommend you to go with the shape you're familiar with and you feel comfortable. Uh, because, you know, if you invest uh, in different shapes of jeans but you, you know, you don't really know how to put them together, you don't feel comfortable and and you feel a bit awkward, sometimes it's better to stick with the shape um, you like and you feel good. Um, that's my experience and I know a lot of girls around my age feel the same about this uh, new shapes of jeans. So, um, so let's experiment within you know, the time frame we're ready for. That's why I selected the shapes I'm comfortable with. So um, uh, white jeans and then navy jeans. And I know they go super uh, well with everything else that's on this rack. So this is my base for the, uh, for the bottom. Um, and as of the outwear, I have selected originally a classic trench coat, um, which is absolutely gorgeous and I used to wear it a lot during the spring. But since the lockdown and I'm not really going to work to the office or I'm not going anywhere really, I don't find it you know, comfortable to be wearing a trench coat. I think it's kind of out of place. Um, the same with my uh, leopard print coat. I really wanted to show it here, but I wouldn't be honest with you girls that, because I don't wear it. I haven't worn it this, some, uh, this spring because we're still in the level five lockdown and I don't know when I'm going to wear it um, again, unfortunately. So I'm going to tell you what I've already worn and what I'm going to wear um, in coming weeks. Definitely um, a leather black jacket, it's a must have for spring. I can't tell you how many times I've worn it already and how easy it is to style with the scarf, with everything else here and um, with both white or um, navy jeans, it looks really chic and nice. Um, and the coat again, like if you don't have a coat again, I highly recommend you getting a coat again with the very neutral color that's your color. I know that kind of a warm gray is definitely my color. So I have this coat again a good few years from Promod and I wear it a lot and it's so comfortable. The material is super soft and it goes well with so many of my scarves and I love the combination of blush pink and gray. This is one of my favorite mix of colors. Um, so I wore it already a good few times and I think it's super nice. So that's my coat again. Um, I would definitely um, recommend you to um, have your spring blazer or blazers ready. I selected for the purpose of this video the navy uh, pre-loved blazer that I have because um, I tend to wear it quite a lot uh, and it goes so well together with two of my um, jeans. Uh, so this, this one is super nice because it's smart enough to even wear it when you're going out, but it's quite casual as well. It's, it has a little um, stretchy thing in the waist, so it's, it's fairly comfortable as well. It's kind of like a blazer slash bomber jacket, you know, so I really like it. And we're coming towards the denim jackets. I own five denim jackets. And you might think, oh, that's a lot, that's a bit much. But I tell you, I wear all of them and I love all of them a lot, especially um, during the spring and summer. I wear them all the time and they are a great layering piece. So I uh, chose for purpose of this video, my mango um, denim, very light um, um, denim jacket. It's kind of cropped 
um, and I absolutely love it. I love wearing it with the sneakers, with the white sneakers or even leopard sneakers that I have and, and goes with the t-shirts, uh, goes with the tops, goes with a lot of things. So I recommend you that definitely go for it. I don't really follow the trends that much because I believe, um, you know, we should be all wearing um, more classic stuff that lasts longer than one season. But I did check what's in the what's in the in the trends for this spring, and it's a it's a big uh, flower print. <laughs> so let me show you what I have. I have this blazer uh, that I would probably. Um, not wear normally a lot, but I committed to it because I was um, kind of borderline selling it. So I style it with um, white jeans and I think it's going to look really nice and it's on trend. So for spring, it's nice to bring a little bit of flowers um, into your wardrobe. I have also selected a um, few tops here and I, I want to uh, tell you why I selected this particular top. So I selected um, white um, white shirt from COS because um, I believe that white shirt is a whole year round um, garment and it will go with, with almost everything that's here and um, even with the denim jacket I could really pull it off if I wanted to but I chose the uh, kind of like a neat gilet um, so I absolutely love the uh, gray and uh, white and I think it's so um, it look, it's looking so fresh and crisp and there's something about that look that um, you know it's very smart but yet it's quite casual at the same time so I like this kind of mix of styles um, so I definitely will wear it at some point and dress down my uh, white shirt I have few Obviously t-shirts. T-shirts are big in the spring because you need to layer all jackets and um, uh, coatigans and, um, and blazers. So I've picked two um, t-shirts. So when you're um, getting your t-shirt or maybe you have t-shirts in your wardrobe or maybe you're shopping for the t-shirt, I recommend you to have a little bit of fun with the um, t-shirt shopping and go either for the padded um, shoulders or a puff sleeves um, or something different about your t-shirt. Don't make it a boring uh, white t-shirt or boring colored t-shirt. Do something fun about it. So this one I got um, in Massimo Dutti and it's from uh, Joy Life collection which is from I believe 50% of the uh, cotton is uh, uh, recycled which makes me feel better and uh, this one I just got in Don stores and I got it because of the puffed sleeves and I think that um, myself, I, I want my t-shirts to be something more than just ordinary boring t-shirt. That's why I always uh, put attention on the sleeve. And padded uh, sleeves are super trendy this, uh, this uh, season, so definitely go for it and it will um, kind of bring proportion to your uh, shoulders and to your waist as well. So that's, so that's the t-shirts I selected. Obviously I have more t-shirts, but I selected a colored t-shirt and a white t-shirt. And I do believe that white t-shirt is absolute must have for spring and for summer as well. So I also selected, um, I also selected two blouses. So I selected my pre-loved uh, Promosh snake skin like, uh, because it's the color of it, the print I love, I love the material, I love everything about this and I'm going to wear it a lot. It goes so well with my navy, um, navy trousers, so it's a no-brainer. It goes, like literally, it goes with everything when I really think about it. I could really even do with the gilet. It goes, this color actually, it might not seem neutral, but I believe that most of animal print is neutral and you can mix it around with so many other things. So whenever you feel like, um, you know, you're like, oh, whether I get animal print or not, leopard print or snake skin, it's neutral. Definitely get it and don't feel that it's too much because it's not, it's um, classic and it's neutral. So it will go with a lot of your things. Um, and this white blouse, actually, I got it from my mom and I love it so much. Um, it has, um, it's quite sheer, it's from Zara and um, 
it's a lovely white blouse and I love white. <laughs> white is my best friend. I actually, if I wanted to, this could be all white because I love it so much. But I, I just have to, um, I just have to shop uh, more for in my wardrobe for different things and stay, um, um, you know, not only white. Come on. But I have also this um, because of lockdown. I thought that I'm going to show you something that is very comfortable. It's kind of like a sweatshirt, but it's on the more elegant sides. So this is from COS and I wore it quite a lot, even when I was pregnant. And it's that lovely cotton and um, the combination of cream and uh, white. It's very, very um, elegant and looks really chic. So if you're going for the sweatshirt, um, you know, make it a bit nicer than just a really obvious um, sweatshirt because this is very comfortable but yet it looks better than ordinary sweatshirt especially when you go somewhere like I'm so tired of looking at people wearing sweats all the time and I know I, I, I also bought myself a set for the loungewear but really let's keep it uh, at some level because I believe that if, if we won't dress like what like will we just be wearing the sweats all the time Please don't, just pick maybe something a little bit um, uh, better than the sweatshirt. And I also have two dresses that I want to show you. Um, I picked two of those dresses because it's definitely my land and I know that the midi uh, and maxi is still in. Uh, so um, I love personally the midi land and I've picked my khaki dress because you can wear it as a summer spring coat you can wear it um, with the sneakers you can wear it open close you can wear it with different belt so it's uh, you can dress it up and down so uh, that's why I've picked it and um, khaki is also one of my uh, favorite colors so I um, picked that dress and I picked my denim dress as well because um, it goes with many things too I could dress it with my uh, leather jacket I could even do a double denim, I could go crazy here, um, so pick that dress and um, I haven't actually picked any skirt, I couldn't decide, I think I wanted to go for the wild uh, red dress that was um, in one of my uh, videos, so I think I'm missing that skirt here, but other than that that's my um, clothes for the spring and I want to sh uh, show you something also with, with regards to the accessories and shoes. So accessories uh, definitely have at least two, um, two uh, scarves uh, or shawls or whatever and one of them I recommend you to have it in your favorite color. So my favorite color, the one that goes like really well with my complexion is that blush pink so I have this scarf it's a linen scarf and I love it I'm going to wear it a lot and um, it goes like literally like with all my outwear here it really goes well with everything and I could wear it with them um, with that uh, dress as well the other um, uh, scarf that I recommend you to have it's a animal print or um, leopard print in particular because it's neutral and as I said it also goes with almost everything look how well it goes with the leather um, jacket like it's really really cool um, I could really pull it off even with my white uh, blazer too uh, so there is endless endless uh, possibilities with leopard print scarf um, as of the belt I have a belt that um, you definitely know at this point I could wear it with two of the dresses to make them look smarter and um, I have a belt so actually the belt that I'm wearing I don't know if you see it I might. so the belt that I'm wearing is actually a man uh, man's belt and I uh, was kind of at the edge whether I should actually purchase a man belt but I did it because I think that 
Oh, the men belt, they, they look more expensive than a women's belt. Women's belt kind of um, sometimes look to me tacky, there is too much going on. I just wanted the simplest of the belts and it was better priced, it was leather and I'm going to wear it a lot with my jeans because I think it's a very elegant um, accessory and men belt. So that's what I'm wearing with my jeans and I'm going to wear it during the summer and spring. And let me show you just very quickly what shoes I'm choosing as my spring essential shoes. So, definitely this. I'm wearing them almost every day here and I love them to beats. Um, they are still available actually in Don stores. So, if you're looking for a comfortable, comfortable piece of um, um, sneakers, these are lovely and they are only 15 euro, I think. My um, my French Connection white trainers definitely go with majority of this, and my Ryuko uh, navy loafers super comfortable, super elegant. Look how chic they look with the navy um, trousers or white trousers, and um, they go with so many. Um, I could even could I pull it off? with the dress, I don't think so, but generally, um, you know, they go with so much and they are very comfortable, so definitely for spring loafers. Um, and if I wanted to dress up any of my dress, khaki or, uh, uh, or denim, my um, office sandals on the, um, like, um, pointy toe, super elegant and go with everything, literally, if you um, if you want to invest in in the high heels and you're not sure about the color, just just buy your neutral. Like this is my neutral, and I know I'm going to wear wear it all the time. So just buy your neutral. We all kind of know our neutrals. Uh, whether your skin tone is warm or cool, just go with it. And I know that blush pink is my neutral, and I buy a lot of that color, and it's um, the color that complements me the most. Um, my legs and my, my skin tone. Uh, so that was my spring essentials. I hope I inspired you to go shop in your wardrobe and pick the things you can um, mix and match together and make um, some outfits, have some fun um, and um, sometimes step out of the comfort zone but stick to the colors that you like. I definitely um, recommend you to invest in some um, in some classics like leather jacket if you don't have it already um, and some nice t-shirts to brighten up and freshen up your wardrobe because they are cheap um, but yet they can really change the outfit as well so if you have any questions or suggestions about this video please let me know and i hope you um you really enjoyed the video and it inspired you for the spring and um, so that's it, that was uh, the end of it. It's quite long, but there was a lot to talk about. So I hope you enjoyed it and see you later. Bye bye.